In this tutorial, we're going to be installing the media agent on a Unix client. So you've actually you've done the last section, so you know that you need to install CV package on your Unix client. You need to move the file over to the Unix client or the Unix media agent in this regard. So once you've done that, now you're ready you're at the step. You're at the step or you've downloaded, you've chosen the software you need to uh, download, you've chosen the packages, in the, and you've chosen the media agent portion as well. So you see this, the difference here, you've, you've selected a different package to install, now you see that the media agent is, is selected. So that you push, put an X in the media agent after you've downloaded the files, and let's click next. So this is going to be installing the media agent. So you're going to be prompted install agents for restore only. You're going to choose no. And this is the location that we're going to install the media agent of the Unix client, Linux client, the opt folder. Same as the file agent as before. Similar, the var log file, similar installation point as the file agent you want to specify a specific group, we're going to click no. We are going to set the permissions for the group. We're going to allow, uh, in this regard, we're going to allow all in that regard. We're going to specify the port numbers that it's going to be listening on or allowing us to access. In, in default, Commvault's default is A400, A401, A402. There is no firewall between the client or the media agent and the comm serve. No. And the comm serve, you're going to need the comm serve host name uh, defined on this media agent as well. And the pre authentication certificate is enabled. We're not going to enforce the Certificate authentication to the comm serve. Click no or type no. And finally, uh, excuse me, and the next step is the global filters. We're going to choose one, which is use cell level filters. And the client groups, we've already set up the client group, the Unix Linux client group. So we're going to put this media agent in that group. And click next or uh, enter excuse me then we're uh, prompted with the download is complete uh, prompt meaning thank you for choosing Commvault you've downloaded the file you've installed the media agent all is well so in order to check that we're going to log into the comm serve on the Windows server the when the comm server is the window is a Windows server and we're going to check it out so you probably are going to see that the media agent is grayed out and that's typical so you right click on it you go to all tasks and reconfigure and once you do that you're going to see it as green now so you've just installed the media agent on the the unix media agent uh, successfully so thank you for viewing this tutorial